Hello, my name is Joshua Rudd with Rudd's Home Farm. Today, I will show you my aeroponic system. It works in tandem with my NFT system and they run off of the same pump. If you want any of my tools or equipment, check out my website in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe because I got a lot more videos coming. Let's get into it. Okay, let's start with a breakdown. Aeroponic systems have four parts. The reservoir, the nozzles, the pump, and the plant suspension device. If growing indoors, you will also need grow lights. I will go over each system one by one, starting with the reservoir. I use seven gallon containers that I get from work. Most people recommend that you get black containers to keep algae growth down, but I have not yet had a problem. These four containers also serve as the combined reservoir of my NFT and aeroponic system holding 42 gallons across six containers. Some of the plant's roots are intentionally submerged. This allows the passive crack key hydroponic method to be used in case of a primary system failure. The nozzles are low pressure sprayers that come together with a kit I bought for my NFT system. These nozzles easily clog with debris, so I widen the hole slightly and I added filtration to the pump and reservoir to correct the problem. The pump is a Vivosun 1150 gallon per hour submersible pump, which sucks from the bottom. Always try to get the most powerful pump you can afford because the higher the pressure you can put in your system, the better. The pro of this pump is that it sucks from the bottom, allowing maximum use of the water and it shuts off if it runs dry, allowing the reservoir to fill back up. The con of this pump is that it does not have a filter on it, and if I do not use the fish filter, then all the nozzles will clog, causing a lot of work. I also use another submersible pump that has a filter. I bought this pump first and found that the pressure was too low to supply my whole system. However, it does have a filter on it, and I use it to clean and mix the water. It is a 290 gallon per hour, which is one third as powerful as the other one. However, I wouldn't have as many problems clogging if I bought the bigger version of this pump. I use the standard 2 inch net cups and 1.5 inch rock wool cubes. The pro of using 2 inch cups is that it handles the majority of plants. The con is, is that the root, as the root ball becomes larger, removing the net cup becomes difficult because of the roots. Rock wool is the standard non-organic material most hydroponic growers use and I highly recommend you start with this. I currently use Duralux 4x2 hangable 200 watt tune spectrum light with sunlight colored base lights and additional red and blue for a more robust spectrum. I hope you enjoyed my show and tell of my aeroponic system. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Also, don't forget to check out my other two hydroponic systems I have down here, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Hey. Hey.